teachers bad. Have you noticed that politicians flip from boogeyman to boogeyman, a process of demonization that is usually little more than misdirection from more pressing issues? According to a number of new governors across the country, the newest boogeyman, and I guess boogeywoman, are teachers who are portrayed as greedy, selfish, and overpaid. Now, honestly, who better fits that description, teachers or politicians? But politicians control the public purse and the microphones of power. They thus are well-placed to scapegoat people who are often the hardest-working, most thankless, least respected, and poorly paid public workers of them all, teachers. Every school year, tens of thousands of teachers dig into their own pockets to purchase markers, pencils, paper, and sometimes books for other people's children. Each year, some local government or school board cuts staff, divides a budget, or cancels a construction contract, for they know that teachers, being teachers, will make do. They accept it, because many of them love teaching children and see it more as a mission than a job. At bottom, this is about politics, not economics. It's about crushing teachers' unions that trend Democratic and donate millions to Democratic candidates. It's also about the goal of the weakening and destruction of public schools to promote the business of private education. Like many political ideas, it's penny-wise and pound-foolish, for it discards the central role of every society since antiquity to teach the young how to survive in the world to come. Public education is failing today, not because teachers are paid too much or educational institutions are awash in too much public money, but they're getting too little. This is especially so in America's central cities, where funds are raised through property taxes and many parents rent their homes. The erection of the business model means those who can afford the luxury of an education, and only them, will be able to buy it. It also means the further crumbling of the empire. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.